Hi, I'm State Senator Dan DiBasella, and this is your budget update for June 4th, 2009. The General Assembly regular session has concluded, and we don't have a budget yet. We remain very far apart between the Republicans who want to cut spending to close our deficit and the Democrats who want to raise taxes to close our deficit. But we've heard from a lot of you who visited this website and want to answer some of the questions that you've brought us. Gary from Vernon asks, why doesn't state government offer tax breaks for new businesses to create new jobs to actually stimulate the economy, and not for government jobs, but for private sector jobs? Well, Gary, we Senate Republicans have proposed just that. We proposed last week to create a jobs creation tax credit that would give a credit of $1,500 to any business, large or small, that created at least one job for the state of Connecticut. Not only does that create jobs for our economy, but it's going to help our budget deficit as well, because we're going to be creating new taxpayers to help fund our government rather than raising taxes on the people who are already here. We have another question from Rick from Stafford Springs, who writes, My family can't afford to go on vacation or spend extra money on things that we would like. Please stop spending money you don't have. I can't afford it. You can't afford it. Stop putting money into the general fund and doing pet projects. Well, Rick, you're absolutely right. We in government need to live within our means just like your family does. We need to find ways to cut back on spending in moderate, responsible ways, like Governor Rell has proposed and the legislative Republicans have proposed. That's the right way to close the deficit and the way that the middle class in Connecticut deserves, not the $1,000 per family tax increase that the Democrats have proposed. Thanks for stopping in and stop in regularly to see if we have additional updates on the budget. I'm State Senator Dandy Basella, and thanks for watching.